Hey everybody, it's Greg from Park Journey. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, so today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to have a fun video um, about what I think uh, they should do at uh, Universal Studios Hollywood to expand the Nintendo footprint. Uh, we all know that Super Nintendo World is going to be amazing. Um, it's you know obviously had uh, you know technical rehearsals started this week. Um, we had our tour last week. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure you do. Um, but it's going to be gangbusters. Um, and anybody saying different is is fooling themselves. It's going to be amazing. Um, cannot wait. Um, we were hoping to go this weekend. We might go tomorrow, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, but in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about kind of the next step, so to speak, um, and what we might... Um, what, what I think we should see um, at the lower lot at Universal Studios Hollywood as they try to expand uh, the, uh, the Nintendo footprint. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. We're going to have a lot of fun in this video. So, uh, But before I do, make sure you click below to subscribe to our channel. Uh, so first, um, you know, just I, I'm, I'm well aware that, you know, there's rumors and probably already plans to expand um, Donkey Kong uh, into Super Nintendo World where it is now. Um, so here's a picture of the supposed doorway um, where that's going to go. So thanks to Universal Core for letting me use this picture um, from when they attended uh, technical rehearsals this week. So uh, shout out Universal Core, really good uh, Super Nintendo World coverage this week. So make sure you give them a follow. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty pretty aware that this is you know this is what's happening. This is the plan. Um, but I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna kind of ignore that. <laughs> Because I have my own plans, uh, and you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about here. Um, so first, we're going to start off a, a look looking down um, on the lower lot, um, and you can see there is a lot of room down here. Um, if they were to take out some of these buildings, namely, hate to say it, I love the ride, Mummy. Look how big this building is. It's a huge building. It's a lot of space, um, and I think that they could take that out and really expand on the Nintendo footprint there on the lower lot. So that's going to be my first step, kind of. We're going to kind of go back and forth a little bit. Um, but that would be one of the first things that would happen is Mummy, um, or maybe the second thing uh, that would happen is they get rid of Mummy, and then they put something in that spot, and I'll get to that in a second. So as we make our way down to the lower lot, here is a look at the the last section of Starway um, heading down to the lower lot. And so basically, I'm just going to put it out there. The entire lower lot is going to be Nintendo. Okay, so everything that's there right now, it's not going to be, it's either going to be removed or rethemed to something Nintendo. So just off the top. So people are going to get mad at me, but that's the way it is. Uh, so basically what I would do is this, this final Starway would be your, you know, it, they would do something with it, lights, like kind of how they do like the warp tunnel going into Super Mario World now, but something, you know, some kind of tunnel where they have all these different Nintendo things going on. And that would kind of be your portal, so to speak, um, into Super Nintendo World. So once you get to the lower lot of Super Nintendo World, this entire lower lot, the entire center area, is going to become the world of Nintendo. And what I mean by that is this is kind of your portal or even hub, so to speak, for all of the different little Nintendo things that are going to be down here on the lower lot. So the first thing I would do before Mummy, let's, let's move to the other side um, of the lower lot here and look at the building where the store is down here, where Panda Express is, and the deli, and that's gone. Okay, so you're taking out all that building, those huge buildings, and even the restrooms. You're going to rebuild the restrooms. Taking all of that, you're kind of pushing it back a little bit. Um, and you're going to basically build your stores, your restaurants, restrooms um, into the mountains of Super Nintendo World where it is now, right? So it's going to, those those mountains are going to kind of come over to the other side where you're not just seeing exposed steel. It's going to come down and you're going to kind of build that stuff into um, the mountain. So basically the only thing that I would say is going to stay on that side of the lower lot is going to be Jurassic Cafe. It's not going to be Jurassic Cafe. It'll be a you know new Nintendo eatery, but that building pretty much safe. And then the store um, at the exit of the current Jurassic World attraction will stay a store for the exit of the attraction that's going to go there. Okay, so that's that's the first step. The second step is, as I mentioned, you're going to take out Mummy, 
And what you're going to put in that spot, you're going to push back as far as you can into that hill there. And here's another look at it from the Starway. You're going to push it back as far as you can, even like to where to like the tunnel is. Like you're going to push it all back, right? And that means you have all this space now on the lower lot, way more than you have now, way more than this little corridor that we see today. And in the Super Nintendo, or excuse me, in this world of Nintendo area, you're going to have your stores, your restaurants, maybe a couple flat rides, right? Maybe uh, take a look at like Baby Park from <laughs> Super Mario Kart and you're putting in like the Yoshi Spinner ride, you know, whatever it is. Um, but you're putting in, um, you know, all of the movement and all the stuff that we've seen from, um, you know, inside Super Nintendo World now um, into this this area. So you're, you're kind of opening it up, so to speak, and you've got Super Nintendo World over here. And then on the other side where Mummy is pushed back is where you put your Donkey Kong. Now, you're not just putting the coaster, you're putting Donkey Kong Country. So you're putting, kind of making the same kind of land as you have in Super Nintendo World. You're having, you know, basically the same kind of layout. You're having all of the um, different things, but it's all Donkey Kong Country. So you have your Donkey Kong coaster, right, that, that's already being planned. Maybe another, you know, Diddy Kong, you know, flat ride, you know, whatever it is. Um, and you're putting that over in that corner, um, basically kind of across from where Super Nintendo World is now. Now, because of this, because you are basically taking away the Donkey Kong portion of the current Super Nintendo World, you're going to have to change your name to, of Super Nintendo World to Super Mario World. So there, that basically leaves two areas of the existing lower lot where you have Transformers and you have Jurassic World. Um, you need to do something with them, right? Those are not Nintendo. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to keep, uh, excuse me, I'm going to keep Transformers. I'm going to keep the ride, keep the building, Luigi's Mansion. No brainer, right? Amazing theme, Nintendo. You could even somehow figure out how to put an entrance from Super you know, Mario World into that. Or if not, it's fine. Um, but obviously you're completely redoing the outside of that building. Um, you're making a, a new facade. You're making it Luigi's Mansion. You're using the same ride, ride system, same screens, same layout. You're not changing, you know, you're just changing the inside of the ride um, and making it Luigi's Mansion. I think that would be absolutely killer. It'd be amazing. You know, obviously they're not going to do what I'm, what I'm listening to, but I think that's a great option to uh, replace Transformers anyway. And then when it comes to uh, Jurassic World, this is where people are going to get mad at me. Um, one option is completely removing it um, and and building a an entire um, Legend of Zelda attraction, or you just use the existing Jurassic World and its Legend of Zelda um, High Rule River Adventure, right? So you're keeping the same layout, um, obviously taking out the dinosaurs, um, whatever you're doing, um, but it's going to be Legend of Zelda, and then obviously the store will be Legend of Zelda. All that will be Legend of Zelda, um, and then kind of go from there. So that that's my idea. And then obviously with the existing spot where they're going to put Donkey Kong, you know, maybe you put Yoshi's Island, uh, maybe you put something with you know Mario, uh, excuse me, Wario and Waluigi, you know, some kind of villains, you know, whatever it is. Um, you know, you've already got Bowser's, um, you know, Mario Kart and Bowser Challenge. Um, maybe you are kind of expanding um, that as well. But um, that's kind of my idea. Um, I think that uh, the lower lot <laughs> definitely needs um, to be expanded. Um, it's going to be rough. I'll be honest with you. Um, just the traffic going into um, Super Nintendo World, just because there's just not a whole lot of room down there. Um, but by removing all of that on both sides and kind of opening up that space a little bit, um, I think that that's a really good um, thing that they could do. Um, I, I think it's going to happen at some point. It's got to happen. Um, at some point, um, especially once they get Donkey Kong down there, um, they, they're going to need the room. Now, obviously, you know, the rumor is obviously that they're going to be building some kind of Velocicoaster um, clone kind of in the space where Mummy is. And if that's going to happen, I, I'm not mad at it. Velocicoaster is my number one coaster. So to have that, you know, in my neighborhood, um, then, you know, obviously that's I'm, I'm OK with that, too. But this is kind of some, you know, crazy idea I had. Um, you know, waking up at four o'clock in the morning the other day and kind of thinking, hey, this would be cool. Um, so let me know your thoughts um, in the comments. Uh, again, thanks to Universal Core for letting me use that pick. Um, but let me know your your thoughts in the uh, in the comments. Uh, am I completely just going crazy, which I am. Um, but sometimes we like to have a little bit of fun here, right? Uh, all right, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Talk to you later.